In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the customizer that comes with your HCS voice packs. It's a pretty powerful little program that will allow you to change the options of the voice packs so you can give yourself a better immersive environment with them. In order to start, obviously you have to start voice attack. Now you'll notice that I have mine set up to start up as an admin. You want to do that with voice attack. Uh, voice attack itself recommends that you do that. In order to set that up, you'd right click on the icon, go to properties, go to compatibility, and then come down here where it says run this program as administrator. Ensure that's checked and hit OK. And then you'll get the little shield icon like you see here. So that means every time you run this, it'll run as admin. OK, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is start up voice attack. You should always start up voice attack before you start any other programs and before you get into elite. Now, since my security settings on my computer are set pretty high, the screen will go blank when I uh, click on this icon since it's running as admin to ask me if I want to actually run it. I'll say yes there. And then you can see I have my tooltip still on. I'll close that. And this is a standard startup of voice attack with the HCS plugins and voice packs. Now let's talk about what you see in voice attack when you start it up. And this is one of the reasons why you want to start up voice attack first, because you can catch any errors that will occur before you get into elite. First thing is it uh, loaded up my plugin. It's the current version. And then here I have a warning and it's telling me I have missing keybinds. Now why that is so important is because voice attack, as you probably know, presses keys when you give a voice command. And if you don't have the keybind set up correctly and you give a voice command, if it has nothing to press, it doesn't work. So on your desktop, the profile will generate a file called missing binds text. If you open that up, it will tell you what you need to set in game and you can set it to any key press combination you want. The profile will automatically pull it in. As long as you don't duplicate with something else, you'll be okay. So I'll go ahead and close that and I'll take care of that later. Now here it tells you how many crew members you have installed. I have seven. You may have more or less. And then here it says Archer has all my stations covered. It gives you the singularity profile version number and your voice attack version. And one of the features of Elite Singularity is it will pause until you log into Elite. And that will disable all these controls. And as you can see, my microphone is disabled, so I can't talk to it right now. And this is a proper load up. Of course, if you have all your keybinds, you won't see that error. And now I'm ready to actually start doing the customizer. Now we're going to enable the microphone so voice attack can understand us so we can actually say the command to start the customizer. And you do that by clicking on the headset icon here that will enable your microphone. Protocol override customize my settings. Acknowledged. Okay, as you heard, my operations officer, which is Archer, because I have all my stations covered, gave me the voice prompt and he opened up the customizer. You'll also notice that listening was suspended again, so it can't hear me. So if you're doing this command when you're flying your ship, you probably don't want to do that because it won't listen to you and you might crash. So it's always best to try doing this before you get into Elite, although you can do it when you're in Elite. but I would recommend your doctor in a safe place. So the command again is protocol override customize my settings. And you have to say that whole thing so you don't accidentally start up this when you're in the middle of battle. Now once it opens up, you're giving a lot of options here and it can be a bit intimidating. But by default, 
these two boxes down here on top and tooltips are checked. And the tooltips means when you float your mouse over one of these functions, it will pop up and tell you what it does. So you have a built-in instruction manual. Now on top, what that does is it tries to make the customizer window pop up on top of other windows that are open so it doesn't get lost. Your mileage may vary with this on top. It tries to get it on top, but sometimes it doesn't win. Now down here you have a reset all button and you want to be careful of that because if you hit this every function here will be reset to defaults. So if you want to erase all your settings and get back to default you hit that button. Down here you can cancel out of the customizer. It doesn't save any changes and then if you do make any changes you want to hit save changes here. So now you should have enough information to use the customizer for your voice packs. If you want more in-depth information on the various tweaks it offers, I have made more videos covering them separately. If you found this video informative, please give it a like. And if you want to see more videos, please subscribe and share this channel. Thanks for watching and see you out in the virtual world.